Thrive Suite is getting better. Thrive Themes is making a massive, very needed change. I'm talking about Thrive Automator. Just found out about it recently and I wanna to talk to you about it. David Rizzo here from blogmarketingacademy.com coming to you from very rainy Florida. Hopefully my power doesn't go out uh, anytime soon while I'm recording this video. Anywho, if you are interested in making WordPress do what it is that you want to do and fuel the online business that you want, subscribe to the channel. As some of the, the YouTubers like to say, smash that like button. Never thought I would say that. And let's move on with things. I want to talk to you about Thrive Automator. This is something that is pretty exciting to me. Unfortunately, not quite as exciting as it used to be, but... Uh, mainly because I am not using Thrive Suite anymore here at the Blog Marketing Academy. I've already made a video about that. However, my fandom of the Thrive Suite has not gone anywhere. I still recommend Thrive Suite to people. I really, really like Thrive Suite. It's a really, really awesome package. And it's kind of a shame that, it, that my needs sort of outgrew it in some ways. Now, one of the problems with Thrive Themes, as many things as it does, is that Thrive Themes has always had an issue with working with outside developers. They tend to be an island unto themselves, okay? And, uh, and so it, it, it hasn't been very friendly to work with. Like for example, um, WP Fusion. I'm a big fan of WP Fusion. Now, one of the things that WP Fusion does so well is works with gobs of plugins out there and then integrates everything that happens on your WordPress site with your CRM, okay? So um, the, 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 the developer of WP Fusion, Jack, he has done a great job of going out and working with all these different plugins. Now, I straight up asked him about Thrive Themes. He would love nothing more than to work with Thrive Themes on this stuff. Uh, for example, when somebody completes a course in Thrive Apprentice to go and tag them in the CRM or something so you, so you can trigger an automation. He would love nothing more than to be able to do stuff like that. Unfortunately, there just was not an API for it. There was no way for him to tap into it because Thrive Themes basically set this stuff up so that it works really well within the Thrive environment, but it doesn't do that much to work with outside stuff. Um, now, with some things, Thrive Themes does the work to make a nice integration, but I have found that it tends to be the stuff that they use. Like they use Member Mouse. So of course they have an integration with Member Mouse with Thrive Apprentice. They, of all things, decided to really make SendOwl a really big deal for selling stuff. Like I literally had never heard of SendOwl before Thrive Apprentice mentioned it. Um, I still don't know if it's like the best cart for anybody to use. Now, thank God it works with at least like WooCommerce or something and it works with ThriveCart. But when it came out and I'm like, send owl? I mean, it just seemed as if Thrive Themes was pretty much focusing on really working with just the stuff they prefer and not so much everything else. And so it was always a point of frustration for me that Thrive Suite, as good as it is, seemed to only work well with other Thrive Themes tools. It didn't seem to prioritize working well with anything else. So Alpom's Thrive Automator seems like it's really going to change the game here. So here we have Thrive Automator, it's brand new, it's definitely in beta, and that's gonna become very clear if and when you install this, is that there's still not a lot of options here uh, for what Thrive Automator does, and it still does pretty much focus on other Thrive tools. And so we haven't really changed the game a whole lot yet. However, the fact that they've done it means a lot for where things are going because they're really gonna be opening up to outside developers and making this a lot easier. When you read through what they're talking about here, this is gonna be an automation plugin, sort of like um, Automator or Uncanny Automator. Um, you know, those, those options already exist. And I'm not gonna sit here and say Thrive Automator is better about because certainly not yet it's not, and it may never be. I really don't know. Um, in fact, they may have even, you know, they, they probably modeled 
a lot of this off of the existing tools like Automator WP, uh, for all I know. But um, the but basically what this is is going to be a set of actions or triggers and actions. So if this, then that. That's kind of the way this works. That's the way automation plugins work. So for example, if somebody logs into their WordPress account, do something else. Uh, in the case of Thrive Themes, if they complete a course in Thrive Themes, then maybe add a tag in your CRM. And in fact, that you can actually already do um, and so it's a it's it's really cool to see them doing this type of stuff um, it's it's and somewhere in here let's see how thrive automator works yeah blah 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 but you can see here we we got triggers and we have do this so if this then do that um, you can also put filters on things so you can set up conditions so that it will only do this uh, if certain conditions of the trigger are true, which is really, really neat. Um, and it looks like it's got a nice interface, which is very typical of Thrive Themes. They do a really good job on that. Um, it does have some stuff built in, I, I suppose, already in terms of like WooCommerce, which is great because that's actually what I'm using now. Uh, WordPress site triggers. Uh, like, Well, I wouldn't consider that a WordPress site trigger, but <laughs> completing a quiz, that would be more of a quiz builder trigger. Um, um, so, they, you know, they, their, their um, site, their page needs to be updated here. Um, some of the ones that are built into WordPress itself, Thrive Apprentice course triggers, like when they enroll in a course, if they complete a free course, if they've purchased a course. Uh, then you got Thrive Architect and Theme Builder, which right now they just have submitting a form. OK, um, but uh, they've got a lot of different options that are coming here, like uh, which which are really neat. Now, this is the part that really makes me interested. Um, you know, I'm not going to be developing things for this, but I love the fact that some of the plugins that I really like out there now have a potential pathway to work with the Thrive Themes environment. Because now I've always said, why doesn't Thrive Suite have a proper API and really make it so that people can work with them? Well, here we are. This is this looks like where it's heading. It looks like Thrive Automator is going to be the environment that is actually set up with developer documentation so that outside developers can now go and make their stuff work with Thrive Themes tools. This is a really big deal. Uh, you know, making other Thrive Themes tools work with one another, great. Thrive Suites are already been fine at that. But this right here is going to make the whole Thrive Themes environment work with outside systems. And that's a pretty big deal. Now, I took one of my sites. This is actually an old backup of the Blog Marketing Academy, and I installed Thrive Automator. Um, and as you can see right now, it doesn't have a lot of options. If we pull this one out, um, our triggers are basically some WordPress options, and we have a form submit on Thrive Architect. Now, I probably would have some other options available to me if I had WooCommerce installed on this install, but I don't. Um, you know, and so. You know, if I had Thrive Apprentice, which I don't, uh, you know, I would have some options there. So this this trigger list is going to change depending on what you have installed. And also right now, there's just limited options because this is a young product. It's beta. Like, for example, I wouldn't be surprised. I do use Fluent Forms. I think Fluent Forms is awesome. Uh, there's no hook. You know, I can't trigger anything in Thrive Themes based on uh, Fluent Forms, but I'm sure it's coming. You know, that'll be really neat. Um, now, as far as actions, or we've got, you know, let me delete this. Do, let me pick something. User logs into their account. Done. Let's go ahead and add, no, not another trigger. Oh, okay. Here's what we want. Um, there's not a lot of options. We got the filters. We could set a delay. So whatever action we say, it'll have a time delay on it. Now, there's not a lot here right now. We've got add user into an autoresponder and tag user in an autoresponder. And right now, it only works with the um, official CRMs that Thrive Themes works with. And so basically, if you go into your Thrive dashboard and you set up an API connection for your CRM, which in my case, I, I'm still using Drip. So um, like I could choose this. Um, and uh, you can see I have Drip and I have SendGrid already set up as one of my API connections. It'll sit there and chug. They do need to speed this part of it up, but it is what it is. And I can choose um, what list to put them on, which in my case would actually be a campaign inside the system. Uh, we can tag them. 
uh, things like that. Do I want single opt-in or double opt-in? Um, and so we have a lot of things av available to us with the CRM, but it's only right now with the ones that, uh, that you can set up an API connection for inside of your Thrive dashboard. And, and there are quite a few supported there, actually, so you probably won't have too many limitations. So I'm definitely going to be keeping a keen eye on this plugin. Uh, I think Thrive Automator um, actually has the capacity to be a, a really, really cool product, especially given that it's not it's going to be bundled with the existing Thrive Suite. So it's not as if you're going to be having to pay more for it. Now, if you are familiar with the uh, WP Automation, you know that you've got Automator WP that already exists. A little bit of name confusion there. So I, you know, hopefully people don't get confused between the two. There's also Uncanny Automator. Um, the, both of those solutions are way more mature. Okay, I'll be honest. They're way more mature. They integrate with a heck of a lot more stuff. The problem, once again, is that um, they have a hard time working with Thrive Theme stuff because Thrive Teams has just always been obtuse in this department. And so Thrive Automator, obviously, they're going to lean it toward working really well with Thrive Themes tools. And so it's one of those things that um, right now, Thrive Automator is immature. It doesn't do that many things yet, but it's definitely worth keeping an eye on. It is a beta. It looks like it's going to have a beautiful interface. And if you're working with Thrive Themes and you're using the Thrive Themes set of tools, I think Thrive Automator is probably going to be what you end up using. Um, I don't think WP Auto Automator, or sorry, Automator WP or Uncanny is probably going to be your best bet because you really want that stuff to work with Thrive Themes tools really well. And so I think this is going to work out really well. Um, and I'll definitely be keeping an eye. And I hope to really start to see a lot of outside developers and some of the plugins that I that I like that are from other people start to integrate with this because it's really going to make the whole Thrive suite just way more useful. You don't have to use Thrive for everything. And I really hope to see that that's what this whole Thrive Automator initiative really turns into. And, and so finally, this can be like not such a black hole. That's always been the issue with Thrive Themes is that it just, it, it's good. It's a really good piece of, of software. It really is. It just didn't do the best job with working with everything else. And, um, and so, and it was one of the reasons, I mean, I wanted to use Buddy Boss because it's really a lot more capable for a membership site. But, um, you know, but I also use WP Fusion. I love the fact that it integrates with everything. And it, it can't, I even one time explored the idea as like, could I run the Blog Marketing Academy off of Thrive Apprentice? I was looking at it because I saw Thrive Apprentice coming out with the new visual builder. And I was like, well, that would be slick. But I, I just simply could not do it because uh, I'd have to give up all the integrations um, and it just wouldn't work. Well, this may change the game. I'm not switching back to Thrive Themes. I've got a really good software stack the way things are now at the Blog Marketing Academy. But I would love to be able to solve this hole. So when I recommend that you get Thrive Suite, um, that I know that you will be able to work with whatever else you want to work with. Anyway, well done, Thrice Suite. I look forward to seeing it develop further. Once again, you guys know I remain a big fan of Thrice Suite. I do use it for some of my clients. I do use it on some other sites. Unfortunately, not using it here at blogmarketingacademy.com anymore uh, because I sort of outgrew it, okay? Um, but that being said, well done, Thrive Themes. I look forward to watching what you do with it.